All right, welcome back. Episode 160, I think 160, of Chaotically Intolerant. Um, we're going to be doing some Immaculate Grids today. We're going to be doing some probably Sporkle or some sort of trivia or something. Um, but Leighton is back. It's been it's been a while yeah, since Leighton's yeah. been back. But make sure to like. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, put the put it on your work computer in the background, put it on your home computer while you're away, get the watch hours up, do all that, um, and let's go. Right might there. not recognize me. I haven't not had a beard in like two years now. That's true. It's it's a whole new Leighton. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new Leighton. What did you say, white boy Leighton? No, little boy Leighton. Little boy Leighton, you look, you do look like a child. I, I have to say, yeah, a little bit more childlike. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit more whimsy, a little bit more wonder about you. <laughs> can can I get you in one of those hats with the spinny thing and a massive lollipop <laughs> go for it i didn't and, get carded this weekend surprisingly though well that's that's good then i guess people believe you believe that you're over 21 so that's good yeah boy. um the memphis showboats are ass let's cover let's just yeah. talk about that for a second yeah it's so depressing they they also pull pull the least attendance of any other UFL team um, might have to switch to maybe the Stallions or the Brahmas might might have to become one of them. Those fans, you know how it is with me. <laughs> ship is sinking. Time to jump ship. No, the the I'll Memphis showboat is sinking. The little yes. the literal showboat is sinking, and Leighton's going to jump off. Have been sunk. Now nah, he's going to go still... to the Brahmas. Yeah, I'll root for them. I'm still their fan. I chose them. I'll stay loyal. It's just impossible watches every Sunday. Yep. You're going to die from yep. cringe. You uh, you have double impossible watches because when the NFL comes back, <laughs> it's going to be an impossible watch for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brett, so, you're literally a Colts fan. The, the Colts got like one of the best wide receivers in the draft in the second round, so lick my balls. What was it? Or no, never mind. Well, I was I was pissed we didn't draft a cornerback too. So, but they're they're gonna go out and sign fucking Xavier Xavier Howard or uh, who's the other guy? I can't. They're they're probably gonna sign Stephon Gilmore back. One of one of the mm -hmm. two. I I don't know why. And, and people, the Colts fans are like, we don't need a cornerback. We got Kenny Moore and and you know a few other guys. And I'm like, bro, they were hurt all last year. I, I you have to sign. You have to draft someone. You have to draft someone. Because you can't rely on them to be healthy again this year. It's just, that's what it is. Um, but it's not football time. I'm not in football brain yet. So, and the Rays suck as well. You're 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 yeah. you're a diehard Rays fan, well known diehard Rays fan. The standings lady. this morning. It's not looking. They good. got. I think they got swept by the White Sox, who before this weekend were on pace to win like 40 games this year. Mm -hmm. So, it's not good. Certified not good by Layton. Yeah, we've still got we've still got a whole lot of season left, both in the UFL and the MLB. And your NBA team, who's your NBA team? Is it the Celtics? No, it's the Magic, Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic, how are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they you know, they win the NBA, whatever, whatever the trophy is in like two thousand eight. Or I thought they got close. The finals? Yeah, they. I think they went to the. Fi when did they last go to the finals? I know LeBron lost to them. I think in the Eastern Conference. Oh, the Magic. Oh, it was. It was in the title, but they appeared in 1995 and 2009. That's when it was because they beat LeBron. I'm pretty sure they beat LeBron that year. Actually, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna do an immaculate grid today. Like I said at the top of the show, um, I'm gonna share my screen. Movie immaculate grid, of course. So, because because sports talk is just depressing. Our teams suck. All of our teams suck. Mm -hmm. Every single one, right, Layton? Every single team. Hey, I'm ex yeah, I'm waiting for the Bucks. Except you know, for the Celtics and the Bruins, they're good. 
I'm Keanu sorry. Reeves and Sandra Bullock movie. Speed. Easy. No problem. No, I, I want speed. Just speed. 1994 speed. Have you ever seen speed? I have not. It's where a bus has to stay above 60 miles an hour or it will explode. I've heard of that story before. Like, it's it hilarious. A it's a hilarious plot. Also, the 2002 to 2003 one, that would be it. one of the Matrix sequels would have to be around there. Oof. But I don't know which one. I feel like the third movie would be a safe guess. Let's let's avoid that Get one for it. the moment. Yeah. Keanu Reeves and Gary Oldman. What would they be recognize Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman plays Jim Gordon in The Dark Knight. Oh, well, he's in Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Gary Oldman is? I'm kidding. Like, as the host? <laughs> he looks like... Commissioner Jeff Foxworthy. Gordon. Well, Michael Caine and, and Gary Oldman is really easy. Oh, um, yeah. The Dark Knight. Or the... Yeah. I'm so silly, bruh. How did I not think of that? Easy. 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 Um, I did not know Gary Oldman and Ryan Reynolds were even in a movie together. I don't know anything Sandra Bullock is in with these people. She's in Miss Congeniality with him. I don't even know what she's in besides The Blind Side and Bird Box. Horrible movie. Oh, Literally. was Ryan Reynolds in Bird Box? Like, briefly? I thought maybe I he didn't think so. would have had a... No... I don't know. The 2002 to 2003 is unfair. That's crazy. That is such a small gap. Like, maximum, they would all have one, maybe two movies in that span. Yeah. When did Batman Begins come out? 2005, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to bank on The Matrix. One of the, the third one being the 2002, but then I don't know what Michael Caine or Ryan Reynolds would be. Oh, it says it, the it, years. Easy. <laughs> easy. Double check Batman Begins. Yeah, just to make sure. 2005. I'm so goaded. I'm 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 so goaded. Um, what was Ryan Reynolds in? As a young fella. Yeah, like, was he in Just Friends? No. No. Damn it. What was he in before that? I wonder if I he don't was know in... any Ryan Reynolds movies. Besides, like, the superhero ones. No, never mind. X-Men Origins. He was in X-Men... He was in the Wolverine. The first Wolverine. This is tough. This is tough. I don't think I have an answer for any of the... What rest that are open. 2002 to 2003 is... Uh, let me think of every Ryan Reynolds movie. Because, like, he hit his stride in the 2010s. I think that was definitely more of his time. Oh, I know what Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock are in, and I don't know if you would know this one. The Proposal. Easy. Yay! Sadly, that's in 2009. What would Michael Caine be in back then? Nothing Inception. He didn't do Inception. Because Christopher Nolan does, like, everything with Michael Caine. So I'm trying to think of a Christopher Nolan movie. What's the one with Hugh Jackman? Or they're the magicians? The Prestige. But I think that was too late, and I don't think... He might be in it. Michael Caine was in it. Ah, uh, 2006. Um, That's so lame that it's not freaking Batman Begins. That's the... <laughs> like, I don't know what else was before that for Michael Caine. I have no idea what Greg Oldman is in, bro. You mean Gary Oldman? You fucking idiot. Or, that's what I meant. What about Keanu Reeves movies? What movies... Because, like, The Matrix, John Wick, which... Oh, I wonder if Gary Oldman was in, like, the third John Wick. There's a movie with Keanu Reeves and Anna de Armas, where it's, like, the two girls, like, kidnapping him in his own house or something. I don't think... But I don't think that would have Commissioner Gordon in it. Yeah, you could try one of the John Wicks just to see, but I have no idea what it would be. I feel like Chapter 3 would have been it. I don't think I saw Chapter 3. No, I did. I didn't see Chapter 4. I feel like this is a Gary Oldman one. Damn it. What else would Ryan Reynolds be in? Oh! Was he in... Were they in Green Lantern together? 
Damn it. Ah, shit. It's one of his more forgettable movies. Um, this really sucks. I'm just going to try John Wick 4. Maybe there's like a voice acting role that one of them had in the oh, movie. Oh, what about... Um, because wasn't I thought I thought Keanu Reeves was in one of the Lego Batman movies. I don't remember him being in. You know, I thought I he had like Gary a small Oldman. voice. I think Gary Oldman might have been. Oh, I feel like people are gonna make fun of me, but his, the bad cop in the Lego movie sounds somewhat similar to him, but I don't think it is. I don't think Keanu was Keanu in the Lego movie. I mean, it, I think it's possible him or Ryan Reynolds might have been. But yeah, that's one of those weird of movies that would have been that they get a bunch of different. Green Lantern's in Green Lantern's in the Lego movie. Do you think they might have used him? I nah, let's give it a shot. A please, Damn it! Please. What about uh, should I do the Lego Batman movie or the Lego Movie Two? Which one? I don't know. I think they're equally poor choices. I'm gonna, t- but I feel like I'm gonna it's say gotta be it. a Box off it. Alright, I gotta look up these Gary Oldman movies. Whoa. Gary Oldman. He was in Oppen- Oppenheimer. I forgot about that. What would they have been in? Let's see. Oh, he was in Hannibal. He was in... Maybe Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? National Lampoon's Van Wilder. That was Ryan Reynolds. They were, they were both in that movie? Or was that just Ryan Reynolds? Oh, that was Ryan Reynolds. I don't know if the other guy was. He wouldn't have been in that movie. That was too good of a movie for him to be in. Oh, Ryan Reynolds was in Waiting, but that came out in two thousand five. Waiting's awesome. Have you never seen? Have you ever seen Waiting? I haven't. I mean, it's it's like a good bad movie. I've been told it's funny, but then I look at Rotten Tomatoes and it's like a ten percent. I'm like, oh. They were in the Hitman's Bodyguard together. With Sam Ryan L. Reynolds Jackson. The- yeah, he was the non-Neanderthal. The who, man? Oh, they showed us. I wouldn't have gotten Dracula. Or Quicksand. Oh, secondhand Lions I would have gotten. Or Austin Powers and Goldmember, too. Do they have another one? Let's do another one. My dad is listening to me struggle in the room right now. Who's the I think this. I think this site is going to... People are going to all get to watch me live get a virus on my computer. Immaculate Grid, or Immaculate Grid, free, no viruses. <laughs> Unblocked. <laughs> Unblocked. Free download. I wonder if we can... Gordle. Oh, okay. We have 50 days worth of this. All right. Oh, Ben Affleck, Matt Dan. Oh, this one. Oh, Kate Blanchett is okay. That one's okay. The rest of these are easy. I think we're going to kill this one. All right. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Uh, I can't believe do, I'm blanking uh, on the name. Is Good it Will Hunting. Hunting? Yeah. Yeah. It's not your fault, Layton. It's not your fault. Anne Hathaway in my oh, top five. In space. Oh, yeah. Oh, for the last Anne Hathaway in my top five. Sandra Bullock's in Gravity and Matt Damon's in The Martian. Let's go. I know my space. <laughs> Finally, I contribute to one of these. I know, you say you're such a movie guy, but I, I get a lot of them. Because I don't watch these cringe movies that you watch. This guy's over here twiddling his dick while I'm, while I'm, while I'm carrying. Bro, I don't even know who Kate Blanchett is. What's she in? Honestly, I would have absolutely no clue. Oh, shit. She spells Kate like that. Someone who doesn't do enough movies for us to know. Uh, Sandra Bullock and Ben Affleck. What were they in together? I'm trying to think of anything Ben Affleck was in. I only think of Batman and The Accountant. And they weren't in either of those together. Batman? Ben Affleck? Was there one where he was Batman? Yeah, he I was... Only know- Ben Affleck was Batman in Batman vs. Superman and in uh, Justice oh, League. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch those ones, bro. I just watched the good you, ones. You fucking idiot. You moron. You what? What good? What good movie has DC put out in the last fifteen years? I want to know. I didn't watch them. <laughs> I only watched the good uh, ones. Let me think. Shit. Anne Hathaway and Sandra Bullock. 
was Ben Affleck and Affleck. Affleck. Was he in the proposal? No. He wasn't in Bird Box because Sandra Bullock was the only named person in it. Um, he was in The Blind Side. <laughs> And that's the extent of my Sandra Bullock knowledge. Sandra Bullock was in The Heat with Melissa McCarthy. Wasn't she uh, in something with Brad Pitt? Sandra Bullock? Yeah. Yeah, they were, what were they in together? It was somewhat recent, like within like, I think like the last 15 years. We're getting what off topic. We're getting off topic. What is Anne Hathaway in? Um... Love and Other Drugs, which... Affleck is not uh, in. <laughs> She's in my top five. <laughs> Favorite movie of all time. Was he in any? Listen, of I, I think Diaries? she's. I think she's like uh, Princess Diaries. No, I don't think so. I, don't I think, think so. Either. Maybe Kate Blanchett was in Princess Diaries, though. That's true. That's true. Because that's a that's definitely an English person name. I'd Let's go do for it. it. Your ass. No way. Your your ass. Leighton is ass. What else would they be in? She Brett Ash? What else is Anna Hathaway in? Batman. I know. Batman, Love and Other Drugs, and The Princess Diaries, and that's it. <laughs> Those are the only three. She's never done another movie besides that. Uh, uh, this is a problem. Isn't there an Anne Hathaway movie where she's like a teacher or something? That's, she seems like she'd play a teacher in something. I really can't think of any. Like, yeah. Where's my Christian Bale, Jake Gyllenhaal um, grid? Ooh! I know what Matt Damon and Kate Blanchett were in together. Um, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I'm missing this. This is one of my... It's it's a mob movie. Um, it is... Uh, it's with Leo. It's with Jack Nick, uh, Nicholson. Mark Wahlberg's in it. Alec Baldwin. Oh, my God. Why can't I remember the name? It's in Boston, too. The Departed. She is his therapist. Fuck! God damn it! Dang, bro. This woman wasn't in any... I don't watch movies with women. That's why we don't have any of the women. <laughs> you just don't watch... You only... Like, you stop watching 50% of any movie. Mm-hmm. You turn no, it... You turn it... You turn the screen off when a woman <laughs> comes on screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't have a guess for any of these. Unless we wanted to try other Princess Diaries. <laughs> like, just try all the sequels. <laughs> but I really don't know. I feel like getting a Ben Affleck and Anne Hathaway Maybe should Bird be Box easy. might have this Kate woman, but I highly doubt it because of how small the cast was. No. Yeah. I think... No. I literally can't even think of any other movie Anne Hathaway was in to even try and think, hmm, was Ben Affleck in that? Because I know she won an Oscar for Interstellar. That was... Nice. Yeah. What about no. Wasn't she in like some kind of like crime romance or something? She seems like she would be. Who, know. Anne Hathaway? Yeah. You're thinking of her as Catwoman? No, like like a movie like um wait, there was something somebody was in that I saw a while back. It's when they're both um they like trick guys into getting with them to get money or something. I have no idea what the name would be though. It only came out a few years ago. They like hustle dudes or something, and it's like a female empowerment movie. I have no idea what it would even be called though. And I don't know if it would be a good guess for both Kate and Ben Affleck because I don't know who was all in it. It might be called the hustle. Wait, what is the hustle? Is that some movie? Look at the year it came. 2019. It could be for one of them. I could be... I don't know if that was the name of it, but... Hustle. Wait, hold on. Oh, American... I think it's American Hustle. No, Maybe? no, 2022 Hustle. It, wait, but that seems too soon. Or it's Hustlers. Oh my god, we have one guess. One guess I to get this like one 2022 right. 2022 was too recent. But it could be. Because I know, I know, I had seen this movie when I was dating Dakota, and we started dating in 2019. But I wasn't sure. Hustle. I'm pretty sure Hustle is the Adam Sandler basketball movie. 
Okay, now that that's I'm what I was about thinking. It. Think. Let's go, hustlers. Okay. I don't know if it would be. Let me look it up. And half the way. Last thing he wanted wouldn't have. Oh, it was made in 2020. That's bullshit. That shouldn't even count. Made in 2020. Forces of nature wouldn't have gotten that. It was the oh, hustle 29th. Kate Blanchett um, is. I, I think Ocean's Eight. I probably should have guessed. They were both in the same Girl Rising. I don't know what that is. And then Thor Ragnarok, Monuments Men. Oh, my, I should have gotten Monuments Men. Yeah, this didn't even have anyone else in it. <laughs> this was just Anne Hathaway and Rebel Alley, Damn or Rebel it. Wilson, Rebel Alley, dude. All right, we'll do one I more. I just thought of Arrested Development, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is Leighton's worst nightmare. It's oh, two men goodness. and four women. Oh, wait. This one? Um, Along came Polly. Boom. Easy. Oh, wait. Never mind. This one? Bombshell. Wait. 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 Yes. No. What? They were 100% in Bombshell together. That's crazy. That's insane. I actually don't think I know any of these. Brian Cranston with in anything other than Breaking Bad? <laughs> Who would have thought? Actually, what? Well, this is all I'm movies, so of... I can't do Malcolm in the Middle. I actually can't think of too many Brian just... Cranston movies. What's a Ben Stiller and Brian Cranston movie? Was he, like, in Zoolander for, like, a minute or a no. scene or something? He wasn't the no. coal miner or anything like that. Coal miner three in the background. No, no, not the watch. Brian Cranston didn't have an appearance in one of the Pitch Perfect movies. He I've never seen Scott any Pilgrim. of those films. I don't know anything that Anna Kendrick was in besides Scott Pilgrim and Pitch Perfect. Anna Kendrick was in The Accountant, Pitch Perfect. I think she was in like another, but with with Cameron Diaz. That's this one's really hard. I don't know. They're don't all hard. And these are all, like, known actors. I don't know anything Julia Roberts is in. I thought that was, like, some really old person. Like Meryl Streep. <laughs> Julia I don't, like, I don't even know who Julia Roberts is, basically. Actually, um, like, what would Julia Roberts and Jennifer Aniston be in together? I think maybe they were in Bombshell together? No? All right. I didn't even see Bombshell. I just know that Jennifer Aniston's in it. I'm giving up. We're moving on. We're going to a new one. This is horrible. I want to look at Brian Cranston movies now. Madagascar I really, 3. I've never heard of any of these movies except for Madagascar. Something about Mary, I don't know how I missed that. I think I was just too overwhelmed by how horrible this was. I did not know that Cameron Diaz was in My Best Friend's Wedding. Was she the sister? I can't remember. Mother's Day, I saw that once, and I was like, eh. That has Ted Lasso in it. Larry Crown, definitely wouldn't have put that together. Get a Job, wouldn't have put that together. Madagascar 3, definitely not. Cake, no. What to expect when you're expecting, no. Oh, Meryl Streep, there you go. Good fucking job mentioning Meryl Streep. Now we gotta think of a Meryl Streep movie. Who's Nicole Kidman? Nicole Kidman? <laughs> She's married uh, to Tom Cruise. Time. Does Meryl Streep, she's not the drama teacher in... High School Musical? No. Yeah. Is she? Or no? I'm pretty sure she's not. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's go. This okay, is a dub. Bosses. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. We got to plan this out because... All right. I just want to make sure that we don't use horrible bosses on a certain one. Who is Okay. Leslie now, this is Man. tough because, because Jason Sudeikis, Leslie Mann, and Olivia Wilde are all in one movie together. One the cha the it's called the change up the change up yeah it's also with Ryan Reynolds oh well Charlie Day and Jason Bateman are horrible bosses too no. easy easy Leslie Mann and Charlie Day actually let's I need a picture of Leslie Mann this is the only person I don't know for once Charlie Day and Leslie Mann what are they in I don't think I've ever seen this woman in my life she's in a lot of comedy movies she's married to Judd Apatow. So she's in, like, all of his movies. You're, okay. you're a moron. He, he directed 40-Year-Old Virgin, This Is 40, Knocked Up. Oh, Knocked Up. That's a good one. Easy. Does Where the Millers have any of the... Does that have Olivia Wilde? 
Because if not, we could just do that as Jason Sudeikis as any movie. I don't think... I didn't so, think it did. Jason Bateman, any movie? Let me think of Jason Bateman movies. I just think of Michael Bluth. He was in a movie called Bad Words. I'm going to do that one, because that's like the most niche movie. What, you have a what about Wild Charlie Wild Day Wild movies? Wild. You should know Charlie Day movies. Uh, I literally didn't know he was in movies. I thought, like, It's Always Sunny was the only thing he's in. He was in a movie with Ice Cube, but I don't know if Leslie Mann is in that. It's called Fist Fight, but I don't think she's in it. Well, name other Leslie Mann comedies or whatever. All right, this is 40. Knocked up, I already mentioned. 40-Year-Old Virgin. Who does she play in 40-Year-Old Virgin? Virgin. She plays the, the woman that Steve Carell meets at the bar and then throws up on him in the car. And she's, like, drunk okay. driving. Gotcha. Sede- oh, what about Sudeikis and Olivia Wilde? What were they in? They, I know they were in something together, because I can see it in my mind. Yeah, weren't they dating? Yeah, they were, like, dating or whatever. And then Harry Styles swooped in. That's true. She was in Tron. <laughs> that, hold on. Hold on. That is the craziest poll of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Tron? Sharon, you pull out of all the movies to ever think of, because Olivia, I'm, I assume the Olivia Wilde has been in a lot of movies. In, bro, that and you pulled Sharon out of your ass. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that that just made me die. Oh, fuck, man. <sighs> what voice acting does Jason Sudeikis do? Because I think he's in a lot as a voice actor. Was he in that weird puberty show from Netflix? Big Mouth. Yeah. I don't know, and I I want to think so, but... Because I remember, I've seen, like, clips of it, and I feel like there's one guy that kind of sounds like him on it. Well, I know, I think these two would be harder to have a movie in, change up. Okay. What about, like, like a Disney movie, like, um, Inside Out? Like, what if Jason Sudeikis is the angry guy, and then Olivia Wilde is one of the other emotions? Or something like I find that really hard to believe. I find that really hard to believe. Because I feel I like we Jason might have to give up. Is, I feel like I hear that voice and a lot of stuff. And I feel like Olivia Wilde's also done voice acting. Is Olivia Wilde? No, I keep thinking of Hall Pass for Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis. What big budget, like, anime, animated movies came out besides the Lego movie? Maybe it is a Lego movie. I, I don't recognize either of them being in it, though. Who plays think... Wild Style? Wait, who plays Wild Style? I think it's her. Okay. Big brain, big brain. Okay, so we've got the Lego movie as a try for Jason Bateman or Jason Sudeikis. <laughs> I don't know what Jason Bateman and Olivia Wilde would be. Please. No. We're going to try that. Oh, no. I don't know. Why are we going back to the Lego movie so Dude, much? Because everyone, everyone voice acted in that. I'm gonna guess for them. I know this is probably wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Dang, dude. Drinking buddies. What the fuck? The longest week. I have never I have never seen the longest week, but I see the poster all the time on whatever streaming service it's on. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I did not know those two were in vacation together. I had absolutely no idea that those two were in that movie. It's not Olivia Wilde. It was Elizabeth Banks as Wild Style. Fuck, dude. Everyone was in this movie though. Charlie Day was in the Lego movie. He was? Yeah. Channing Tatum, Jonah Hill, Morgan Freeman, Chris Pratt, Will Arnett. I just need to memorize this cast list. All right. I think that's a good place to stop. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Go check out the Lego movie. If you haven't watched the Lego movie, mm-hmm. go watch the Lego movie for a while. Um, Nick but Alperman? not. But don't do that yet, because you still have to listen to Chaotically Intolerant, although you listened to all of Chaotically mm-hmm. Intolerant today. So we'll listen to it again. Um, just really dive deep into how much we got wrong. Uh, but anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on Thursday. Peace.